I'm done. Great. Let me have a quick look. A bit unorthodox, maybe, but you got the job done. Let me get Mr. Janus so we can inspect it for himself. Hey, tell Mr. Janus the molehills have been fixed. So, uh, just to warn you, I'm sure this whole inspection is going to remind Janus about something exciting from his past. And I'm sure that he's going to tell us all about it. You know, old people syndrome. Just play along. Better yet, keep your distance. So the holes are filled, huh? Yes, Mr. Janus. The gardener took a bit of an unorthodox approach, but they do look filled to me. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that myself. Thank you very much. How are you? <laughs> this looks good. Seems like I've been forced to deal with moles my entire life. Moles in my organization, moles I employed, and now these little Looking pests. Good, man. Looking good. Looks good, I guess. You know, life gets dull when you're old. Dealing with moles back in the day. It's much more exciting. Moles, moles, moles. Reminds me of a funny story. The embassy in Nicaragua in 1986. Carmen. She had a charming mole right next to her perfectly luscious, plump lips. I discovered the mole was fake after we kissed and it got stuck on my cheek. I kept it in a tin box to remind me of her after they sent her to the camps. God! A kind word. Stop right there.
Oh, tea. Just what I needed. There you are. I may have one foot in the grave, but without my smokes, I might as well be dead. <coughs> as old Trotsky said, just as a lamp before going out shoots up in a brilliant flame. I have never met a man so full of bile. 
Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Good day. So, back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Don't worry, you're in good hands. This way, please. All right, let's go then. Greetings, sir. Good sir, you're trespassing. Please, you need to turn around now. That's it. What? Okay. Sir, no standing around. Go through now or go away. soldiers through genetic manipulation. Somehow, he had managed to impress my superiors, and they had provided him with effectively endless resources to be wasted on foolish ideas and experiments. The project was idiotic. The subjects were erratic, unreliable. Why build an army of reckless super soldiers when a handful of well-placed spies can do so much more for your cause. What became of him? Oh, I don't know. Dead, I assume. In the end, we had his mind wiped. All the boys underwent the same treatment. I didn't follow the subsequent cleanup process, but from what I understand, the doctor and everyone else associated with the project is long gone. I see. Yes, well, enough reminiscing. Are you about done here? Almost done, yes. Mm. 
You have strong hands. Last time I met someone with a firm grip like that was back in mid in 78. Olga had hands the size of a Kamchatka brown bear's paws. I miss her sometimes. Her command of the human body was legendary. Run along now. We're done here. Wonderful. Ah. ah, this takes me back. The night I passed the torch. End of an era as constant. We had the Vienna Philharmonic play. Living on the burbs like this. Janus, what a lovely surprise. Come in. Come in. Thank you, Helen. Here, my darling. How are you feeling? Better. The days have their ups and downs, as I'm sure you know. Nolan Cassidy is a, well, excuse me, but a real pain in the ass. I never did understand why you needed to have so much security around you, Janus. It's been like that all my adult life, so it's hardly something I notice anymore. But this new Herald... He's no Schmidt. You liked Schmidt, didn't you? I did. But I, I want you to know that I hold no grudge. I can't say I fully understand why you... Well, I've done much worse. Much worse. Janus, I... It was an accident. I want you to know that. He wasn't supposed to die. I believe you, Helen. You went through things while away that no person of your fragile nature should have to go through. 
Experiences like that, they change a person. Stir at things deep inside that should not be stirred, and which, if brought to the surface, cannot easily be pushed under again. I think it's always been there. The urge. My brother had pets. They would inexplicably die, and Mother would be furious with him. I... I, I enjoyed that. At university, I would spike the boys' drinks just to see what happened. One of them fell from a window and broke his back, but I got it under control until... well... You know, Helen, this is good. I feel like this opens a new part of our relationship. There are things I know about drugs, poisons, chemicals I could teach you, if you wish to learn. But I think that is for another time. I am tired now. I am glad we talked, Helen. Me too, Janus. Me too. <laughs>